Hello and welcome to Nick's Vlog. I'm your host, Nick, and this is a follow-up to a uh, previously uh, posted vlog for today. Today's date is uh, uh, Monday, February 4th, 2019. This is uh, Irish Traveler. Uh, like I said before, and I'll say it again, please make sure that uh, you hit that uh, like button down at the bottom with a little thumbs up. If you happen to like something, you think about it, you, you come across it, please do that. Uh, whether it's for my videos or for anyone else's videos that you may happen to see, please think about doing that. And, uh, well, it poured rain this afternoon. I was on the 8 coming out uh, to the 805 to go northbound the 805. And, man, it was pouring. It was pouring. I mean, it's maybe 50 feet visibility. Oh, so much for it never rains in Southern California. I got caught in a downpour. Now I'm over here. I'm having a cup of coffee. I figure I deserved it. So I spent a little bit of money and bought a cup of coffee <clears throat> over at uh, a Starbucks that's uh, right next to a Walgreens. And this particular Walgreens is right across from a Rite Aid. And they're both right across from a CVS. My wife used to watch a woman who's... I always thought she lived in Los Angeles. No, she lives here in San Diego. I'm pretty sure of it. It's very similar geographically to L.A. And these three stories, she's a big makeup guru. And uh, she would go these three stories. I thought it was funny because Walgreens owns Rite Aid outright. And I suspect they own CBS. I suspect it. But I don't have a direct proof of that. Uh, like the prison said, nothing like competing against yourself. Well, that's what Walgreens does. They buy Rite Aid. They bring all different companies in New York City, New York State. Because they have different laws about prescriptions than most of the country does. That's uh, the state of New York. They, they include fingerprinting, all that, all, all kinds of things. I don't know why they do it, but they do it. And uh, anyway, this lady, she's on YouTube all the time. So if anyone comes across it, they might, someone might know of her. And I know her name, but uh, I'm not going to say it. I, it's not about promotions. But, uh, yeah, I suspect this is a little group that she goes to. The same place I'm at right now. I never thought I was going to actually live here. <laughs> it's on Balboa. Balboa and Genesee. Right on the corner. And uh, that's uh, Genesee. It's uh, about... 500 feet to the great Mexican restaurant I was talking about in a video I did last night. A terrific Mexican restaurant. Terrific. Really good. And anyway, uh, it's cooler today. I'd say it's about 56 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Uh, could be a little wrong. Heavy clouds, heavy storm clouds. No sun. There was a little sun this morning. For a little while in the area I was in, over by where I stay, I have my storage locker there. And there was a little bit of blue sky there. But the temperature's, you know, maybe 56, something like that. It's cooler today, definitely cooler. Cool enough I had to put on a coat. Without a liner or anything like that because it isn't that cold. <laughs> but, yeah, it makes me think about the people living in their cars, those folks. Out east, like in Columbus, Ohio, New York State. Jeez, man. I don't know. I don't know. You know, it's hard enough to live in a vehicle. This this little vehicle here, it's a cool little car to cruise around in by oceans and the color and everything, the style. It is a cool car. It's a very reliable vehicle. But, uh, you know... Uh, it's hard to live in one. It's hard. It's difficult. Especially when you're, like me, handicapped. Well, I'm not severely handicapped, but I am handicapped. And, uh, you know, it makes it a little harder. But at least I'm uh, enjoying a good cup of coffee. And I'll uh, enjoy that and some water to go with that. They triple filter the water, is my understanding. And they do the reverse osmosis. It's expensive. <laughs> their water, but they give you a big glass of it for free. And the refills are free, too, if you belong to their club, which I do, so I do get the refills. They do honor them. They honor the refills, which is very nice. 
I suppose maybe I'll get a second cup. And um, head on back. Now tonight, if I'm reading this correctly, tonight we should have showers. Hot showers. They bring them in them like a mobile. Two showers and they're hot. And they give you a clean towel, your own shampoo, uh, soap, conditioner. Uh, I believe moisturizer as well. It's all yours to keep except the towel. I think you give the towel back. And uh, it's very nice, and they move them in. I, if I'm reading this correctly, it's the first mon Monday of every month, the first full week. That would be today, the 4th. So we'll see when I get in tonight at 6. Uh, we'll see if the showers are set up. I'll see. My hope. Anyway, I want to thank everyone for tuning in and giving a few minutes of their day up and their time. And don't forget uh, to please do a search on Google for uh, living in my car, nomad, uh, nomads, uh, tra Irish traveler, things like that. And please don't forget to hit that like button on mine or anyone else's videos. And you'll find a lot of great ideas out there about living in one's vehicle, um, where these people are located. You know, how they're getting by, if they're even alive, I don't know. Anyway, take care, everyone. I wish everyone the very best. Talk to you later. Bye.